hey there, let me show you a Python client. And actually for this I have no idea why I opened the REPL. I want to I want to do something else. I want to be in a temporary folder and I want to write the coin with you. Now a coin is a program that prints itself. Alright? So I want to create a program that will print itself when you run it. That is the thing we are going for. Now can I open no gosh I do not want this. I want to open a simple text editor. And I want to zoom in a lot. And I want to share it with you. Let me have it here on the left. Oof, now that was very distorted. Okay, so that's a coin. Alright, now how do I do this? Well there's I never know this by heart, so we will have to build it together. But I know like a, a kind of recipe, so we can just improvise from there. So what I know that I want is I want to define a string and I want to print something in here. Now, this program does not print itself when you run it. Oh, I misspelled the program. For some reason, there's an extra T. So this obviously does not print itself. Why not? Because there's two lines of code here and there's no output there, or no visible output. So let's start filling this in. And what I also know is that I want this string to kind of look like this print statement, and I want this print statement to look kind of look like this assignment. So let's type s equals this, and this will look like print something. Now this is starting to get slightly more similar. But the thing is, we are only printing something once. And now what we will need to do is, we will need to use string formatting to turn this string, to sorry, to fit this string inside this thing here, and to print two lines of code. So this is the assignment. But instead of the... Instead of having the quotes here, let's actually use string formatting and say that we're going to get s in there, but we want to format twice because we have two lines of code. And so here we're going to have a new line and then that again. So now this is getting, this is, being, this is becoming more similar, right? Notice we have the s equals print and the print here. s equals print is close, but not quite. We are missing the quotes. So let's make sure that the quotes show up. And to do that, I know that if I use single quotes here and if I use an exclamation mark r here, I can get the first print to look like this. So now the first line matches, but the second line is far from being correct. And why is that? Because this print here is empty, whereas there's a bunch of stuff here. So how can we fix this? We can fill in this thing to make it closer to what's in here. So let's do that. Let's do the, let's essentially take this and paste it here as a string. And actually, I, th I uh, does this work? Is this enough? Let's see. Now I need to zoom out. Oh, there's something weird here. Yes, I need to escape the new line here. And yeah, this I guess this works. So there you have it, a Python coin. Um, just pause the video and make sure that this code really matches this one. Just take a look to convince yourself that this is indeed exactly the same and this is exactly the same as this. So I find this really, really cool. Let me know in the comments if you do as well.